A lot of people have been asking us recently, Tim, T. Shroom, when are we going to have an altcoin season? What does that even look like? Well, in this video, I'm going to explain to you not only what the altcoin season will look like, when it will happen. You might be saying, Tim, how do you know when it's going to happen? Well, we have some historical analysis that dictates pretty much when that happened. It could be off, but I'm going to show you what history says about it and when you should be buying the altcoins for that season. With that said, though, we're the investing bros. Let's get it. All right, before we go too much further into it, like always, make sure you smash the like button and hit subscribe. If you enjoy crypto and you enjoy this video and it teaches you something, you don't want to miss a single thing that's coming out. Just so you guys know, I'm going to be redoing a lot of price predictions in the next couple of weeks. So a lot of your favorite altcoins, you're asking, man, how, how much higher can it go and what should I expect uh, for a good price level to take profit? I have some old videos that aren't necessarily terribly wrong, but after looking deeper into some things and reanalyzing based off of what we're at now, I'm going to have some updated price predictions. You'll want to know what those are. But to know when the best time to buy those coins, you're going to want to know what the altcoin season A is and B, when it is coming. So let's start off before we even get into the charts. Let's talk about altcoin season. Altcoin season does not necessarily just mean altcoins are going crazy. Of course, we've had in the last uh, couple of months some coins like Solana go absolutely nuts. Chainlink there for a little while was leading the market. And all these altcoins have actually outpaced Bitcoin, meaning they've gotten better returns. You would have made more money investing in those altcoins that ran than necessarily Bitcoin. The problem is the Bitcoin dominance, despite being a little volatile, just continued to climb to the upside. Altcoin season does not happen when Bitcoin dominance is climbing because even though the price action and the investments of the altcoins might have been going up, ultimately, more money was still flowing into Bitcoin than into altcoins. And altcoin season is when even if Bitcoin is still going to the upside, the altcoins make such a crazy run that more money flows to the altcoins than to Bitcoin. That's what it is, but let's take a look at a chart that shows us more details and the timeline of when that should happen. So first of all, let's me, let me just show you guys what we're looking at here. This is the Bitcoin dominance chart. If you have TradingView, type in, in the ticker symbol btc.d, you'll get this chart, right? So uh, what do we have here? You know, we were down below 40% for a while. We actually went back and forth between uh, 39 up to about 48 all the way since back in May of 2021. Guess when that one was? The first little peak there in the Bitcoin bull market. We then kind of ranged sideways through and hit it again. Uh, closer to the timeline, we hit the top of the bull market once again in November. And then we took off here in November of 2022 and started to set these higher highs and higher lows, finding our way up above 55%. This means as a whole, when you're looking at the total market cap of crypto, which right now is sitting at about $2.2 trillion, is a little bit down after getting up here closer to 2.7. Even though uh, altcoins have done very, very well, more money has gone into Bitcoin, meaning the market cap of Bitcoin has climbed faster than altcoins. This is very normal when you're looking at pre-having bull markets, and there's a timeline you should be looking at to know when the altcoin season happens. But let me kind of show you what I mean real quickly, staying on this chart. You guys can see we bottomed out the last time before this more recent uh, bull market bottom. The last major bottom happened in January of 2018 for Bitcoin dominance. Well, what does that timeline correspond to? It corresponds to the 2018 top of the previous bull market. So bull markets, dominance goes down, bear markets, it goes up. It's started to make a climb here and you can see i want to i want to show you guys some dates here starting kind of in april and then around you know june july this is a time period where the bitcoin dominance just absolutely went to the upside if you take a look at what bitcoin did during the same timeline let's go over to the bitcoin chart here for just a second remember i said april and june of 2019 well you come over here and you're going to notice April, June is when the bull market started to take off here for Bitcoin. It was the pre-having bull market, and we ended up having a big correction. But as a whole, the bear market was over, and the chart started to flow. Ended up topping out here in June as well. 
Either way, though, Bitcoin climbed to the upside. At the same time, you're going to find the likes of Ethereum, for example, was one of the top altcoins back then. It's climbing during this time period as well. I'm not going to show you guys every chart. Cardano was climbing. Um, uh, XRP was climbing. We had altcoins as a whole were climbing. The difference, though, is that even if they outpace Bitcoin by a little as a whole, when we come back over here to the Bitcoin dominance chart, the dominance of Bitcoin was climbing throughout this entire process. And the truth is, even though we had a little bit of correction here, the dominance would stay high all the way until January of 2021. This now you can see is the peak of the Bitcoin dominance, and then it takes and falls off a cliff going to the downside. What is that communicating? Up to this point, Bitcoin was getting all of the money flow for the most part. And then something flipped in January, and all of a sudden, it didn't mean that Bitcoin started falling like crazy. It just meant that this was the beginning of altcoin season when they would take off. For example, let's take a look at Ethereum and take a look at those timelines. Uh, remember I said January. Well, we were bullish on Bitcoin dominance leading into that. Well, look at this. Car Ethereum as a whole was bullish from back in March of 2020 all the way through that bull market. All throughout September and October and November, Ethereum was climbing. In January, it was climbing, but... The difference is, is Ethereum, Cardano, and other altcoins, they started climbing faster than Bitcoin when we get into January. Bitcoin was climbing during this time period as well. I'll go ahead and show you that one too. It was climbing throughout January in the time, but the altcoins were the ones taking off going faster. So ultimately, when I come back over here and I look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, I know we've been bouncing around here for a while. What we're looking for is not just for altcoins to be going up and to the right. We're looking for them to do it in a way that despite the Bitcoin, despite the fact that Bitcoin's still climbing, altcoins just take off like crazy. We've seen two major events that we would call altcoin seasons, true altcoin seasons. We have some mini ones along the way, but the major ones are going to happen here in January of 2021. Again, it'll be leading to a very explosive altcoin bull market. The other one coming in over here back in March of 2017. You guys can see once again, after Bitcoin dominance had been so high for so long because it was the top dog, it fell off a cliff in dominance, falling all the way down here towards 35%. Why? Not because Bitcoin wasn't bullish during this period. It's just because alts were more bullish. Now, the question you're asking, Tim, thank you for that information. When is altcoin season? When should we be expecting it? And this is where history comes in. Could things change? Technically, yes. But you got to go with what has happened normally throughout history and then take that as your starting point and adjust from there. And we see some confluence with these two major altcoin seasons that I just mentioned. And those, those consistencies are utilizing having events, which we're about to hit here in literally just one day. These green lines represent past having events. You guys can see that the altcoin seasons usually start, in this case, this one is about 270 days. It's not quite, you know, don't necessarily uh, think we have to go that far, but 270 days after the having event, we have an altcoin season start here back in 2021. Well, are we anywhere close to that? When we come back to 2016, in 2016, we had to wait about 220 days. So it's a little bit of difference there, but let's just go ahead and even go with the lower number, 220, 230, somewhere in that range. We see some consistency in the having event happens. Things begin to rally, but ultimately there's a point where the flip switches and all of a sudden all coins start to go nuts. If this were to play out once again, let's kind of just take the difference maker and go somewhere in the ballpark of two. 4250 that would put us somewhere in the range of altcoin season actually starting somewhere here around December of 2024. We've actually mentioned this before but I've never shown you the data. Now you have the data. We see a consistent history pattern of not quite a full year but a decent amount of months up to 8 months where we have uh, the bull market going nuts with Bitcoin, but all coins wait for those 200 and some odd days before they finally take off. Now, I want to make sure you guys understand this. So if we're talking about the altcoin season starting back in uh, January of 2021, if we're talking about this newest one starting maybe sometime in December, does that mean that you should have waited until January to buy your Cardanos and your Ethereums and your Solanas and your Chainlinks? Does that mean you should wait till December to start purchasing? Not necessarily. Let's go back over. Let's go look at Cardano for this one, for example. 
Of course, the time that Cardano started taking off, we're talking about January of 2021. You guys can see here as we enter January, Cardano was hovering around 20 cents and would end up going crazy all the way up to the top of the bull market up above $3. But that doesn't mean that the months before January, Cardano was bearish. No, uh, from the bottom of COVID, it continued to climb to the upside. You should still be looking right now to purchase altcoins like this in Cardano. Same thing happened with Ethereum, where, yes, it kind of took off a little bit before most of the rest of the altcoins. It kind of started more late November. But as a whole, you don't want to wait until November of 2020 or December or January to buy Ethereum. You want to buy it a lot earlier. Uh, and again, if we're seeing a kind of a situation back to the similarities between what we saw in December of 2019, you're going to want to look for these dips. Even if Bitcoin outpaces it for the next eight months, these are still the best places to be buying into altcoins. This is a common question that I get from people who have heard this argument. They're saying, well, are you saying, Tim, only buy Bitcoin right now and that will outpace it? And then later on in December, I should buy my altcoins? Not the case whatsoever. Remember, again, even like we've seen here more recently as Bitcoin dominance has climbed, Altcoins have been better investments than Bitcoin. It just means more money is flowing into the market cap of Bitcoin right now. But in December, I'm not going to tell you to sell all your Bitcoin into alts, but you will see more of the money flow in the bull market go into the altcoins rather than Bitcoin itself. And that's when the party is going to get very, very fun. So wrapping this all up into a, uh, a one last final point, when is altcoin season? Probably not until December of 2024. When should you start buying your altcoins? Every second you see a dip, get those altcoins. We're down, uh, some altcoins down 50% from recent highs, some other 40. I still think there's a little bit lower to go with some of these altcoins. However, this is the perfect time to be DCAing for a long-term hold, not thinking about how do I make money by tomorrow, but what can I buy today that will make me money in 12 to 18 months from now? That's the question you should be asking. That's the answer to when altcoin season will hit hard and when you should be buying. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Leave comments down below if you disagree with me. What date do you think altcoin season is coming? What date do you think you should be buying? Leave all those below. I love reading your comments. But the rest of you guys, smash the like button. Hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. With that being said...